Kate, the Duchess of Cambridge, has been humiliated by Meghan Markle as the pair go head-to-head -head at Chelsea Flower Show, a royal expert claims. The sister-in-laws have both backed different gardens at the annual event. Kate has designed her own nature-themed garden, while the Duchess of Sussex and her husband Prince Harry have opted to support an African-styled entry. Alleged tensions between the two royals have been rising over the past few months following news of the split between the Sussexes and the Cambridges. Meghan's entry looks at the ecological African culture and is already a firm favorite among gardeners. Julie Miller, who hosts In the Limelight for Vanity Fair, said this put Kate's in the shade. She said, if I was Kate I'd be humiliated they went down this route. I would be angry they hadn't swapped notes before. Kate's garden features a treehouse, a waterfall, wild strawberries and a campfire where children can toast marshmallows. While Meghan's African garden features a breeze block schoolhouse surrounded by crops that girls can learn to grow, such as peanuts and okra, as well as solar panels and a smart irrigation system. Meghan's is run by Kampft, an organization which is trying to eradicate poverty in Africa through the education and empowerment of girls and young women. Kensington Palace has already intervened to stop Meghan and Harry over shadowing Kate's garden by forbidding Kampft from using a photograph of Harry to publicize the garden. Meghan's African garden was created by London garden designer Jill Rickards and is expected to be moved to the Eden Project in Cornwall after the show. The garden is inspired by a young agriculturist called Beauty Gombani who already grows bio-fortified beans to help with droughts caused by climate change that threaten families living in Africa. Talking to Vanity Fair, royal biographer Sally Buffell Smith said the garden showed how completely different the two royals are. She said, they're two very, very different women, with different backgrounds, different interests, temperaments, and personalities.